Hey, here's what I've been working on a little bit last night and this morning. This little bee that I got last year that I had to put a new oil pump in the engine. Anyhow, well, this morning I had to take the magneto apart, sand up, clean up points, and then it started right up. But worst trouble I had last night was during this thing. I was over to Marysville, so I stopped at Rural King, bought a fifty-dollar battery. That darn thing was dead in the doornail. So I put the charger on it all night long. And I thought I'd give it a little extra here this morning. But I had the dirtiest time with the battery clamps here. They were kind of dirty and rusty and boogered up. And I finally got them to make contact. And, uh, well, I guess it's all right now. Shut this thing off. Oh, gonna unplug it. All right. Let's see where to still run. A little gas. Turn the key on. I don't know. Whoops. Oh, half joke.
I wanted to get a little bit further than this. Well, I got to where I wanted to be. With a bee. Looks like this tractor, just like all the rest of these old tractors, you gotta clean the gas tank. Oh well. Hey, I want to brought it up here for. Besides, pump up one tire a little bit. Uh, I'll show you here. Get off this darn thing. Anyhow, see the engine there. Looks like somebody's had that engine all apart. Cleaned it up. Probably rebuilt it because it runs so good. There's no paint on it. So I'm going to clean it up and paint the engine. And maybe touch up a couple other spots. Paint this other side too. And the starter. Anyhow, I guess I'd like to sell this darn thing. It's such a good running tractor and everything's nice and clean and straight and good tires and new wheels all the way around and uh, and good seat on it. Got a good swing and draw bar, backrest. Got everything you need. Except somebody's patch here on the old tin, kind of deteriorating a little, but that ain't too bad for for 1940. <coughs> so anyhow, that's what I'm going to do with it. So if you want to buy a good little bee, let me know. Uh, all right, I better get to work. Oh, another reason I want to sell this thing. I only got nine of them. That ought to be enough. And this one don't need much fixing anymore. Everything's about good shape. And ain't no fun having them if they don't need to be fixed. Because I don't use them for anything. I just work on them. Make them better. Alright, that's enough. Yeah, I got the top took apart. I'll show you what I found. Look at there. Got a mouse. Built him a little house in there. And uh, what I'm going to do, clean it up a little. There, I taped the steering wheel. Uh, spokes broke there. I was thinking that might have been... But this was an original steering wheel where the spokes was rubber covered and had a rubber hub here. I uh, see there where somebody's cut them off. Yeah, I'm going to take it off and weld it back together. I suppose you could put a new one on, but I'd rather have things original as possible. Well, yeah, it looks like the engine's been used quite a bit. After they put the thing together, it got some little dirt and dust on it. But I'm going to get cleaned up. And uh, whoever painted this thing painted it just like the original factory paint job. See, they didn't paint the inside. And here on the grill, it's not painted on the inside. Bob in the gas tank, no paint. No paint on the inside of the hood. That's just like an original factory paint job. Spray it on the outside. And paint the spark plug wires just like the factory did. So I guess somebody was trying to be pretty close to accurate. Well, anyhow. All right, that's enough for now. I'll shake the gas tank out and clean it up. Squirt some paint on it, purty it up, and we're out ready to go. All right, that's enough for now. Look what I found in the toolbox. Half-inch wrench, 
a crescent, screwdriver, and one of them draw bar adjusting things that goes oh right down there. Uh, anyhow, we could always use one of them. I don't know whether that. Hey, that's a genuine crescent. I guess I better clean that up and see if it's any good. Yeah. No. Mascot? I never heard of a mascot ranch. India. Oh, well. Uh, we might just throw it and the screwdriver in the junk. All right. I better get back at it. Got most of the mouse out. There, somebody put a solenoid in there to run the starter instead of the foot foot pedal that should work pretty good all right there you go is that any better or worse or about the same I put squirted a little paint on there and looks like I got some thick and thins I don't know maybe I'll touch it up a little bit in the morning hey how I was working on the gas tank, clean it out, and uh, well, right there on the bottom, a little rusty spot, and it looked like as if it might have been just starting to seep a little. So I went to town and got some of this seal all. It's gas resistant. And I fixed that other, that other 39B I got, I fixed it with that and several years ago. It is still holding. And uh, so I put some on here. And also, uh, oh, that old pink and purple F12 I got. I realized when I started running it was a little noisy and I checked the oil and the transmission it's pretty near dry. And I got to looking around and the whole rear end housing was cracked. And I cleaned it up real good. Put that seal all on it about five years ago and it's still holding oil. So that's pretty good stuff. They used to sell that seal all at the dollar store for about two dollars a tube. They didn't have any, so I went to Advance or AutoZone, one or the other, whichever. Turned it six dollars and a half now. But I guess that's better than trying to find a good gas tank without a leaky. All right, anyhow, I'll put this back together tomorrow. But I think, just for the heck of it, I think I'll sand off the inside of this hood and squirt some paint on it, because that just looks awful original rust so that's about the end of it yeah it looks like I could have a little more look squirt a little more here and a little more there a little bit there yeah it'll be all right all right that's that's all till we get it going well if nothing else I got a usable 8 inch crescent that works. Not perfect, but. Oh, um, gotta help it out a little bit sometimes. I think I'll keep it. All right, that's enough for now. Well, that should keep any dirt and rust that might be in the tank. Should keep it out, out, keep it from plugging up. All right, we'll put it back together tomorrow. How's that look? Any better or worse or about the same? 
put a little paint on the engine. No, oh, not the best paint job, but covered up the no paint. Had the hood off. Thing got rained on last night and this morning and cleaned up a little. Had the hood in there and I cleaned up the rusty on the inside and painted it. And uh, paint, paint the starter. But kind of messed up paint here, but when I took that foot strap off, somebody didn't paint the underside of the strap or the top of the hood under the strap. So it's a real rusty spot. I cleaned it up and put some paint on it so it don't get any worse. And, uh, well, I don't know. It should start, but uh, Magneto was sitting out here in the rain all night. We'll try it. Oh, well, I put a gallon and a half of gas in it. Fixed that busted spoke on the steering wheel. And, uh, I dropped that little half moon key down there in the gravel someplace. So I got that big magnet there. And I found it. Alright, let's see. Oh, we'll see whether it'll run or not. So Magneto. I know I got the gases good. So Magneto didn't get too wet. Oh, you got to turn the key on. Oops. Well, I bet the magnet is wet. All right, I got to do a reenactment. I finally figured out how to play back what I videoed. And found out I didn't video everything. So anyhow, I'll reenact re what I did five minutes ago. Yeah, I got the spark fixed. Got the distributor back together. Or magneto, see. And uh, gas tank's clean. I got gas. Anyhow, here. I was going to tell you about something I'd done years ago on these things. See, I got a tin can of exhaust. I painted it. When you take it off, I put it over the oil fill cap, so that way I got it when I need it, and I can put it back on again. Because a lot of Alice Chalmers don't like water down the inside of the exhaust. All right, now we'll see where it'll run this time. It started good up the deck last time. Oh. Uh, I'll uh, put you right here on top of the gas cap. run out of gas in the carburetor. So I won't be flooded the next time. So anyhow. Well, loaded up, ready to go. Look at there. Good chance to see.
sell a corn cultivator in November, you better take it. Selling tractor too. All right, I better get going. About a hundred miles away, I gotta go. All right, that's all. Never know what you might see when you get far away from home. Look at that.